Hey guys, so I have a very simple motion graphic that I created in DaVinci Resolve. And one thing you will notice is that this animation has a beginning, but no ending. So all the components have an appearance, but no disappearance. And sometimes, you know what is just much easier and also faster to do it like this, because there is a very, very easy way to reverse this animation, uh, to reverse all the keyframes uh, for a complete animated effect. And that's what we're going to look at today. Now, before we dive into all of that, I just wanted to have a look at all these different components we have going on here. So the first part is the text uh, animation. And then the second part is the yellow background uh, that goes behind the text. And then we also have the two lines that uh, shoots out and wraps around the other two components. Now, the key thing to remember here is that this animation, as you can see, the whole thing ends uh, on the 28th frame. And that is very important to know because this will become the jumping off point for our reversal. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring a time stretcher node and we're going to place it behind the merge node. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to double click source time setting here. This will reset everything. And then we're going to move our playhead to the zero frame to make sure it's actually at zero. And let's keyframe source time and let's come to the 28th frame. And then we're going to key in 28 in the source time uh, setting here. So basically at this point, guys, we're telling DaVinci Resolve at what point in the video we're going to uh, play uh, what uh, frame, uh, which frame of the animation. So now let's come to the end here and we're going to key in zero and then we're going to go to this time code box, subtract 28. Now we're going to go to source time typing 28 here. So now this basically is going to reverse uh, the first part or the beginning part of this animation, as you can see. So the time structure here is going to be the key. And again, what it does is to basically tell DaVinci Resolve at what point in the video we want to play which frame of the animation. All right, so now let's uh, take our completed ad motion graphic uh, back to the edit page and have a look, guys. We now have a complete effect here. But one thing you will notice is that if we were to, let's say, shorten uh, this clip, uh, we will no longer see the ending uh, that we just created. Or in a similar fashion, if we were to stretch it uh, beyond its original duration, uh, you will see that uh, now that the ending will happen prematurely. So in order to tackle this issue, uh, to make this more dynamic, what we're going to do is to go back to the Fusion page and we're going to, we're going to stay on Time Stretcher. Now let's go to Source Time and then we're going to right click in the menu, go to Insert and then let's select Keyframe Stretcher. Now let's go to the Modifiers tab up top. First of all, let's make sure Source Start and Source End covers the entire spectrum for, for the current duration of this clip here. So that's fine, that's perfect. Now for Stretch Start, we're going to the end of the first part of this animation and we're going to just add one. So that will be 29. And then uh, for stretch end, we're going to the beginning of the end of this, uh, of this animation here and we're going to subtract one. So that will give us uh, 90 here. Uh, and basically guys, we are telling DaVinci Resolve that this is going to be the section that will get stretched uh, as we uh, either shorten or elongate uh, this uh, clip. Now let's go back to the edit page uh, again. If we were to, let's say, uh, shorten uh, the duration of this clip, you will see that now we will still have our beginning and also the end of this animation that we created earlier. Uh, not a problem here. Uh, again, in a similar fashion, if we were to, let's say, stretch, uh, stretch this clip beyond its original duration, uh, we will be able to make sure that the ending doesn't uh, happen uh, prematurely. Uh, so it will, uh, it will get stretched out, uh, essentially. Uh, so which works perfect. And when we do something like this, it really gives you the flexibility to use it uh, for any clip uh, or uh, any clip of any duration uh, in this case. Um, so yeah, uh, this is pretty much it, uh, you guys. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, I will see you next time.